Number patterns. Everyone knows that number patterns are everywhere. Just look at the number line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 is a pattern. Look at those yellow circles. 20, 30, 40, 50. That is a pattern. And 20, 30, 40, and 50 can also be 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000. Or it can be 120, 130, 140, 150. It can even be 1,050, 1,040, 1,030, 1,020. Doesn't matter where it is in the number, it can be a pattern no matter what. And then we have 55, 65, 75, and 85. That is also a pattern, whether it is 185, 175, 165, 155, or 850, 750, 650, 550, or even 85,000, 75,000, 65,000, 55,000. Patterns are patterns and they are everywhere. Look at the green ones, 58, 59, 60, 61. Quite a simple pattern, isn't it? But what if I say 1,610, 1,600, 1,590, 1,580? Can you still see the pattern? And then there's 8, 9, 10, 11. Super simple, isn't it? can be 80, 90, 100, 110, or 3,110, 3,100, 3,090, 3,080, counting backwards. No matter where you look, the patterns are everywhere. Multiplication tricks. When you are dividing by two, even numbers are 8, you remember the even numbers, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So we, I chose 8, 8 divided by 2 is 4. And an odd number is the other numbers, um, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. I chose 5. 5 divided by 2 is 2 and a half. Uh oh, there is one left. So which one has leftovers when you divide 2 with an even number or divide 2 with an odd number? Then there is swapping around numbers when you are multiplying. Let's look at 100 times 3. Is it the same as 300 times 1? Well, 100 times 3 is 300 and 300 times 1 is still 300. So it doesn't matter where the number is, if it's timed together in any order, it will be the same answer. Look at 70 times 5. 70 times 5 is 350. And 7 times 50? Still 350. Because 7 times 5 is 35, plus a 0 is 350. Now we're looking at subtraction words. What does subtract mean? There are wor many words that mean subtract. Less, difference, subtraction, how many less, remove, less than, take away, fewer, take from, minus, take, decrease, and spend. Wow, so many. What is three less than 10? We are subtracting 3 from 10, which is 7. What is the difference between 5 and 11? Again, difference is subtraction. The difference between 5 and 11 is 11 take away 5 is 6. Tim has 100 sweets and Sam has 50 less than Tim. How much does Sam have? 
If Tim has 100 and Sam has 50 less, are we plusing or minusing? Definitely minusing. 10 take away 5 is 5, so Sam has 50.